Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Teacher Reg Channel! In today's video, I will share to you how to use the EIPCRF tool for school year 2020-2021. This electronic individual performance commitment and review form or the EIPCRF was developed by the Bureau of Human Resource and Organization Development, Human Resource and Development Division, or BHRODHRDD, through DMPHROD 2021 Series of 0498. This electronic tool shall be used by teaching personnel to accomplish and submit their IPCRF for school year 2020-2021. This tool was modified to complete the changes in the RPMS tools of proficient and highly proficient teachers. This tool can be accessed and downloaded through this link. For you to access the Google Drive, Make sure you are using your DepEd email. First step, using your DepEd email, go to your web browser and type the link bit.ly slash rpms ppst 2020-2021 and then enter. Make sure that you are using your DepEd email in accessing the link. Click for Other Associated Tools folder. Then, click the EIPCRF for school year 2020-2021. Open the DepEd prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4 school year 2020-2021 MS Excel file. Then, wait to open and click File, then download Microsoft Excel. Find this in your downloads and then click to open. Click Enable Editing or Enable Content. Then, read the instructions carefully. So, by using this tool, you agree to authorize the Department of Education to collect, process, retain, and dispose of your personal information in accordance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. So the instruction is, this part 1 shall be accomplished by the Rater or your Master Teacher during the Phase 3 Performance Review and Evaluation of the RPMS cycle. So fill in empty cells or the white blanks with needed information about the teacher, school, and division. Enter the needed information by either typing it in the empty cells or by clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the demographic information applicable to you. So always start at the right side part in entering the needed information. So, we have here the school ID. So, example lamang ito. Next is the school name. Ang mga nilalagay kong mga information dito ay tanging mga halimbawa lamang. Next is the rater. So, sa pagsulat dito, all caps. At magsisimula sa last name, bago first name, then middle initial. So, dito sa date of review, so dapat nagsisimula sa year, followed by month and day. So, for example, 2021-07-30. So, ang date of review natin ay July 30, 2021. 
So, dito sa name of employee, caps lock ulit, or all caps. Then, start with last name, first name, and middle initial. Next, encode the COT rating per observation period. So, there are only two classroom observations for school year 2020-2021. First, select the subject for COT1. Next, input the COT rating per objective. Then, encode the date of observation. Sa baba, kung kailan, kailan inobserve. So, mag-start ulit sa year, month, and day. Katapos ilagay ang date observed or date of observation, click lock COT1. So, after mo mapindot yung lock COT1, may lalabas na ganyan, the rater's password. So, the rater must enter a password. So, provide a single password for COT1 to protect your data. So, the password should minimum of 6 characters. So, the COT1 is already locked. Next, let's proceed to COT number 2. Same with COT1. Select subject and encode the rating per objective. Encode the date of observation. Then, click lock once finished. And provide again the same password from COT1. Finish accomplishing part 1 of the encoding tab. Encode all other IPCRF numerical ratings for quality, efficiency, and timeliness. So, tapos na ma-input lahat ng IPCRF numerical ratings for quality, efficiency, and timeliness. So, you have already the final rating, the adjective rating. Next, input the name and the position of the approving authority or the name of the principal. When the COT and the QET ratings are encoded and checked to its accuracy, click Finalize Part 1. Provide the same password. Next, click Go and click OK in the dialog box that will appear. So, the rater will provide a file copy to the teacher concerned. So, kulay pink na siya dahil na lock na. So, encoding status, lock. Next, the rate or the teachers, will answer the part 2, which is the core behavioral competencies. So, what you're going to do is just tick the boxes of the behavioral indicators that you demonstrated during the performance cycle. Once you are done, click Finalized Part 2 to save your data. Then supply a password to further protect your data and then click OK. So kapag naging kulay pink na yan, ibig sabihin yung data mo ay protected na. View IPCRF 
part 1 to 3 sheets. So these sheets are protected from any editing. So this is the part 2. So the results of all encoding done in the encoding tab appears in parts 1 to 3 sheets. So the IPCRF part 1 to 3 sheets are protected from any editing. Now let's proceed to part 4 sheet. So here, you are going to update your IPCRF development plan. This sheet is not protected from any editing, so you may add rows if necessary. So, dito ipapakita ko ang aking IPCRF development plan. So, example lang ito. So, dito sa strength, ang aking medyo confident ako sa aking uh, strength functional competencies is Objective 2 from CRA 1. So, Objective 2 is to ensure the positive use of ICT to facilitate the teaching and learning process. So, the next column, ang development needs. Yung tatingin mo, kailangan mo pa nang uh, i-develop. So, yung weakness mo. So, para sa akin, yung objective na sa tingin ko, kailangan ko i-develop ay ang objective 3 from CRA 1 which is applied a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. So, yan yung aking uh, development needs. So, sa next column, yung action plan. So, ano yung le learning objectives and the intervention para sa development needs mo. Next is the core behavioral competencies. So, yun yung sa my part 2 sheet natin. So, alin dyan yung strength mo, yung confident ka, at alin naman dyan yung uh, need mo i-develop.
So after encoding your IPCRF DP, click Finalize Part 4 if you are done or you may print Parts 1 to 4. Supply the same password as the one used to finalize Part 2 of Encoding tab. Click Go, then OK. Submit the soft copy of the IPCRF electronic form to your rater or to your school head for the school-wide consolidation. So, in saving your uh, IPCRF, use the following format in naming the file. So, this is the format. DepEd prescribed IPCRF parts 1-4SY2020-2021 Dadagdagan natin sa dulo ng dash, elementary, kung elementary, then a dash, family name or last name mo, comma, and your first name. That's all for today and I hope it will help you in accomplishing your EIPCRF development plan for school year 2020-2021. Goodbye!